Hello, my name's Paul Edwards. Welcome to Man Friendly Church, a channel dedicated to bringing equality back into the house of God so that we can have an equal number of men and women. We do this in two ways. First, by understanding how men and women think differently. And second, by promoting methods that encourage men to attend and become part of the local church. This is the second in a series called Man Friendly Sermons. The previous one was Mind Your Language. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Use Pictures. And the ones in the future will be Talk About Yourself, Be Practical, Use the Kiss Principle, and Short and Sweet. You can see them there. But today, we're looking at Use Pictures. One of the books which I really like is a, why Men Hate Going to Church by David Marrow. And according to him, and from my experience, men remember what they see more than what they hear. What do you mean? Well, let me ask you this question. Are you gonna remember every word I say, or is this picture gonna remind you of something? Men don't remember the words, they remember the pictures. Next time you see a poppy, you might think of today what I was talking about. Or maybe you're trying to remember what I was talking about, and then you'll see this picture with the crosses and the poppies. Ah, poppies, Remembrance Day. Talking about rem men remembering things they see. That's how it works. Most men, not all I accept, but most men will remember more of what you say if you can illustrate it with some pictures they can get. If you notice in most of my videos, I use a lot of pictures which actually represent the subjects I'm talking about because I find that I remember it better when I see some good pictures. There are some sermons I've heard where I just have someone who's a great preacher standing there. But I can't remember what they've said. But there are some sermons I can remember where short clip videos or pictures were used and I go first to the clip or the video or the picture and then I remember the sermon. Is that the same for you? I recommend, put some pictures with your talking. The problem is, where do I get pictures I can use? Because we have to be careful, we are Christians, we believe in obeying the law. You can't just pick any photo from Google and put it up on a video or on your wall in church. There's copyright issues. But there are places you can go where you can get some free pictures. And I use a lot of these when I'm preparing my videos here. So you know that any picture you see up on my television screen here has actually been got hold of legally and I have copyright permission to use them. So a few places you can start. Um, Life Church, which is a church run by Craig Rochelle. I'll put some links to these below if you can't copy this down, don't worry. But Open Life has a resources section where churches can get free resources. And then there's a non-Christian site, unsplash.com. I use this for a lot of photos. About 80% of the photos you see on my site or on my channel will come from that site. And then Pexels, they can do some graphics as well as photos. PNG Tree has quite a lot of clip art and things. Be very careful though, clip art can be off-putting to men. Um, our pastor, Mark Barford, he has a rule, he hates clip art, and I try very much to avoid clip art unless I really need it. But there are some times when a clip art really does carry the message. So don't never use it, just be careful about not overusing it. But then there are some really good Christian sites that you will have to pay for. Paying and investing in the kingdom of God, I recommend. If you need something you can't find, it might be worth paying. My church uses this first one, Motion Worship. We use a lot of their videos on our projector during the service and also during our videos that we're transmitting during the COVID lockdown. So yes, I can recommend this one. But some of these others are recommended by Dave Murrow in his book, Why Men Hate Going to Church. So sermonspice.com, bluefishtv.com, ignitermedia.com. Most of these will do you pictures as well as videos, things you can use in your sermons to carry your point across. So what next? How do I implement what Paul has just been teaching today? Well, first of all, 
you may be thinking, I can't do media, I can't do pictures. Have you got a youth group in your church? Have you got young people? I guarantee there will be someone in your youth group who can help you get this done. So go and ask them. It might be good to get your youth involved in your church. They're quite good at things that men like, usually. And so then, obviously, once you do that, start using some relevant photos and videos. And as I say, please keep the use of clip art to a minimal, and preferably only if it's necessary. Finally, if you like this video, can you please click like, because that way I will be recommended by YouTube to more people. Second, obviously subscribe, and if you want to, click on the warning bell. Then you'll actually be told every time a new video comes up. And please recommend me to other people. The more people who know about it, the more we're going to get churches that are man-friendly. Thank you. God bless.